Hi viewers and fight fans another prediction here this one's between Huey Fury versus Shane McPhilbin this one's scheduled for the 14th it's been shown on uh, Channel 5 here in the UK now I'm not quite sure what's going off with uh, Channel 5 and that they're, they're fighting they seem to be springing up uh, now and again I think it's some sort of contract they've got with the Furies uh, or Tyson Fury and I think uh, after this year I don't think they're showing any more fights which is a shame really I mean it's being all depleted isn't it uh, boxing on the terrestrial uh, channels anyway back to my prediction Huey Fiora what's he doing in with a, a cruiserweight uh, Philbin just not quite 100% sure what the promotional outfit of the Fiori team are, are thinking of uh, Albeit Philbin brings in uh, experience, but he's on a just been on box rec. Don't know whether I've still got it up. No, I've closed closed it. Box rec. Just been on box rec, and he's on a bit of a losing streak, isn't it, uh, Philbin? Uh, I've I've seen him uh, fight a couple of times, Philbin. Uh, he's got a good right hook he brings in to this fight experience doesn't he for Fiora uh, fight record for Fiora uh, this is one of the undercard fights uh, for the Kid Galahad fight I believe on the 14th yeah the Kid Galahad undercard Uh, not one fight that I'm looking uh, a lot forward to I suppose it's because of the the fights that are taking over uh, stateside that have got my interest uh, more so than this uh, Fury Fury unbeaten is 1-8 with uh, Five KOs. Now he stands at six foot six, I believe. So he's a huge advantage. I'm guessing he's got a slight reach advantage uh, with that height as well. Uh, Kid, uh, sorry, Philbin is one eight with uh, five KOs. He's he's lost seven now and then drawn one. Uh, there's, there was one fighter that stood out that is fought, but I can't think of the, the boxer's name. Uh, if I can just quickly get it up for you. Briefly, I'll just try and get on box rack quickly. If I can find it. Mm, let's have a look. Box rack, box rack. Yeah, so it is uh, Philbin's uh, record. Enzo Macronella, but he lost to Macronella and another one that stuck out a bit. Uh, Michael Sprott, also. And uh, Andy Ingram, uh, but he lost to him also. So you know, it's hard. It's a hard uh, case to make for uh, Philbin. I just think uh, Fury in this one. I'm gonna stick with Fury, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna say a knockout. I don't know how many rounds this fight's scheduled for.
but I'm going to go for a Fury knockout, uh, judging by what I've seen of Fury. They're both boxing out of the Orthodox. So this would be a, a, a good uh, fight to get us warmed up for the big fights in the States, won't it really? Uh, with the uh, Mayweather and Canelo and um, the Matisse fight. So I'm going to say a, a Huey Fury win. After I'd say five rounds, I think it'll be all over in in within five rounds. I can't make a case for Philbin really in this one. Apart from he's got the slightly slighter, uh, more experienced than his opponent. So here with another knockout for me for Fiora. Uh, no doubt uh, Tyson Fury will be uh, there supporting him. So thanks for watching and a uh, Huey Fury win for me. And just to let you know I'll be doing the, the main uh, card of this uh, undercard fight uh, between Kid Galahad. So I'll be doing that prediction. So thanks for watching and let me know your thoughts of this fight.